Cumberland's Patriots football flashback. October 27th, 2012. It's Cumberland's taking on the Campbellsville Tigers. James H. Taylor Second Stadium saw a record-breaking offensive afternoon from the UC football Pats and the nation's number one rushing offense. First quarter, the Patriots got the offense started with a Jay Bright to Willie Gibson hookup. This 29-yarder gave Cumberland's a 7-zip lead. Moments later, Jay Bright with his second passing score of the day. This one, a 33-yarder to D'Angelo Jordan to put UC up 14-0. Bright with a career-high 222 yards passing in the game. Staying in the first quarter, Terrence Cobb takes the handoff, and he is G-O-N-E gone. 74 yards. Cumberland's up 20-6. Second quarter, the camera goes straight to Cobb because you already know, TC3 from five yards out, 27-6 Patriots. Cumberland's wasting little time. They get the ball right back. First play, Jay Bright with a perfect quick hitter to Willie Gibson. Just like that delicious Fruitopia drink from the late 90s, Gibson is gone. 56 yards for the touchdown. Willie Gibson finishing with six catches, 116 yards and three scores. Cumberland's up 34-7. Mid-second quarter, Cumberland's getting some defense from Loco. Dewan Harrison picks up the fumble and sprints into the end zone, returning the fumble 20 yards for the score. UC leading 41-19 at the break. The second half saw the Patriot defense pitch a shutout over the Tigers. With the help of some plays like this, Adrian Hightower picking off the pass, ending the Campbellsville threat. Hightower finishing the 2012 campaign with 10 INTs. Now to the fourth quarter. Cobb scoring from 36 yards out. It's blowout city. As mentioned, this was a record-setting day for Terrence Cobb and the Patriots. Cobb running for 327 yards on 27 carries with three touchdowns. To cap things off, the Patriots bring in the left-handed closer. Quarterback Phillip Wells takes it in from four yards out. It was the fourth game of the season that Cumberland's amassed 60 or more points. The Cumberland's Patriots improved to 8-1 with a 62-19 win over Campbellsville.